wait for my. Oh, I'm, I'm just waiting for my lighting there, because I, I went a lot of effort putting makeup on for tonight. No, I didn't really. It's okay. Joking. <laughs> God, I'm getting heckled already from the front row there. Must be something to do with the front row. I'll tell you about that later on. Anyway. Welcome to Glasgow Caledonian University to our celebration of Celtic Connections and Campus. I'm Patrick Quinn, Senior Lecturer on Audio Technology here and uh, I suppose I can put all this thing to uh, together. Actually, to be honest, I get the easy job. I just come up here and talk nonsense, sit at the side of the stage, listen to great music and all these other folk will tell you about later on. They'll do the, actually the hard work. Uh, but it's great to have you back on here. We were just talking earlier on, three years since we did this. Who was here three years ago? Oh, loads of you. Repeat business, we must have done something right then to get you back. Um, just to, to, to remind you, what we do is celebrate uh, Celtic Connections in Campus is a series of free lunchtime concerts. We've got one left. If you haven't been to any yet and you're free tomorrow, we're back here again doing all this in daytime at 12.30 with some great up-and-coming talent from colleges and universities across Scotland and beyond. And the other part of it is it's all the audio technology students here that do all the sound, the lighting, the streaming. We're normally live on Trad TV and Celtic Music Radio. We're not tonight, but we will be going out in the future. Um, so we'll do, do the usual thing about uh, television. If you're sitting beside somebody you shouldn't be sitting beside, <laughs> now's the time to change positions, because we'll, we'll notice you. Um, so it will be going out later on in Trad TV, probably in a couple of days' time, and on Celtic Music Radio. Uh, but we normally stream it live, actually, at the lunchtime as well, which is great experience for the students, great experience for the performance students. And we are very lucky we get a fantastic range of performance students that come along to entertain us. And what we do for this event is we invite back some of our favourite artists and the ones we really enjoyed. And that's what we've got for you tonight. So in the line-up tonight, later on, you'll be hearing from a fantastic band, Madrum. You'll be hearing from Mari. Mari, um, need to get the name right, because our, our dad will give me a row if I don't get the name right. Mari. Um, but first up, please put your hands together for Brianna and Sophie. Ooh.
so yeah, uh, we're Brianna and Sophie, um, and we're really excited to be here today. Um, that was a couple of tunes to get started. Um, first was a 7-8 called Odd Socks by Amy Thatcher, and to an Irish tune called Sharig, and into one of my own tunes that I wrote uh, called Road to Moira. So we're going to slow things down a wee bit now. Uh, we're going to play a couple of tunes that Brianna and I wrote uh, in our time in France. We went to a festival a couple of years ago, and it was a real bonding experience for the pair of us. And uh, We shared a room and during a heat wave with no air conditioning and no lock on the door. <laughs> so um, we, we had quite a few good times, and Brianna wrote a couple of these tunes while we were there. The first is called Anna Yells, and it's about our lovely guide. Uh, and the second is 38 degrees, which is how hot it was. <laughs>
Thank you very much. So we're going to continue on now with another tune that I wrote. Um, so this is one of the first tunes that I wrote away back at the start of uni when me and Sophie first met. Um, so this is a slip jig called Bertie's Jig that I wrote about my dad's cat. Um, I think this cat has had more shout outs on a stage than anyone else. Um, so we actually debuted this tune at Celtic Connections on campus four years ago. So we're going to play it again now and hopefully we've improved a wee bit since then. <laughs> so much. Uh, so we're now going to move on to a lovely tune, another one of Brianna's compositions um, called Fridays in Morningside. And we wrote this um, after we were given the opportunity to go and play for a lovely group of people in Edinburgh. Um, and we had such a lovely time there that we wrote this tune after them. We had a nice little morning routine. We would, it was through in Edinburgh, so we would go quite early to, to make sure no traffic was in bother. We would get a Greg's 
Oh, it was just lovely. And then we played for these these amazing group of um, old people, and we would just have so much fun. We would just come come back laughing all the way home with such funny stories. So, yeah, this is Fridays in Morningside, and uh, Jig for a bit, and then Anne Lacey's in the end.
Thank you very much. Um, so unfortunately, we've come to our last set. Um, <laughs> but um, before we uh, finish up, I just want to say a few thank yous. Um, a big massive thank you to Patrick for getting us along here tonight. Um, and everything's been so well organised and we've been so welcomed. Um, this is, I think Celtic Connections on Campus was one of our first ever performances together. So it's so nice to be back here all these years later doing it again. Um, and also a massive thank you to everyone who's been doing sound and light tonight. They've done such an incredible job um, and they've worked very hard. Yeah. Um, and also just thank you to everyone for coming along tonight. Um, it wouldn't be the same without an audience. So uh, yeah, you've been a great audience. So we're going to finish off with um, a hornpipe and a couple of reels. So. The hornpipe is called Paddy Fahey's, um, which was written by an Irish fiddle player called Paddy Fahey. But it gets quite confusing because he wrote hundreds of tunes and named them all Paddy Fahey's. He didn't give <laughs> any of them numbers. Like, there's literally no difference. So if you ask someone to play Paddy Fahey's, it could be anything. So um, <laughs> we're going to play one of his many tunes, and then we're going to follow that with a traditional Irish reel called The Fox Hunters, and then another one of my own tunes. Uh, so thank you so much again for listening and hope you enjoy.
Let's hear it again for Brianna and Sophie. So just to remind you that if you want to catch up, you, you want to know more about these fantastic artists that we've got there. There's a little list there on the wall there and your way in, get more information about all the socials and all that sort of stuff. And you can find it on, I'm looking nervously at the back here, there might be a, a screen that's going to tell you some stuff. May, maybe not. Uh, we do have a Facebook page and all the details will go on the Facebook page. There we are, yeah. Celtic Connections on campus. And... Uh, all also appear in Celtic Music Radio and there's Trad TV, that's where you'll find it. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yes. Free concert, free, free free glass of wine, free nuts. It's not bad, eh? It's not bad, it's not a bad night. We're going to get ourselves set up there, so go and enjoy some of the hospitality and we'll be back with our next act very soon. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, oh, yeah, we're working. That sounds better. Uh, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, to the second part of ke uh, celebration of Celtic Connections and Campus. I just need to remind myself where I am. Uh, just, it kind of happens to my age, you know, so I think I'm just going to struggle here. Anyway, the front row usually keeps me right, and I think we've got quite a kind of feisty front row here as well. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's like pantomime. Oh, yeah. It's behind you. <laughs> um, we were expecting that, so we've actually got a camera up there. So see when that little right, r light there goes red, you're being watched. So just, uh, there you are, you are being watched, so just be careful what you're going to say. Um, just want to say, just before we introduce the next act, a lot of thank yous. You imagine this doesn't happen without lots of help, so we're just going to run through quickly. Thank you to the warehouse for the PA. Baxter Story are great for helping us out with the hospitality for the, the crew and for all the musicians. Uh, but I want to single out a couple of folk. DB Audio, where do the lighting? Do I think the lighting's great? Yeah. Well, I think I'm very well lit. I don't know about you, but I'm very well lit. I just want to thank uh, Brian from DB Audioware and Dave also has been here a lot. It's their own software they're using and they've taken the whole week to, to, to show our students how to do that. So thank you very much to Brian from DB Audioware. <laughs> and the other part that's been great is, uh, as I say, we're not going out live. We normally go out live at lunchtime, but tonight we're recording it. We'll go out live. We'll go out live. It won't go out live. Okay. will go out as a recording later on, but from Chai TV. I just want to say a big thank you to, to Dougal and Finlay from Chai TV. And again, Finlay's been here all week with us. He, he must like us, I think. So a big hand for Finlay there helping with the, the streaming and the video work. It's really great. Um, and Celtic Connections have been great, and Celtic Music Radio have really been involved. But that's enough chat for me, because you're here for great music, and you're going to hear some other great music. So put your hands together for our next act, which is Mary. really nice to be here. Um, I'm going to sing a bunch of songs I wrote. Um, yeah, it's a new tuner. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. Um, so yeah, this one's called I'd Be Bored. See what you wanna see 
next song I'm going to sing is called Beaches. Um, I've actually never performed it live before. Yeah. Um, so it's a dangerous game, but hopefully it'll be okay. Thank you. So call 
tiny little guitars. <laughs> um, this next song, well, it's kind of two songs. It's a medley, um, and it's called Why Don't You Listen slash Why Should I Listen? <laughs> Tree to be forgotten. 
I don't know why I gave myself so many chillings. But okay. Um, the next one's called Squeamish. Um, yeah, it's my mum's favourite. So this is for my mum. <laughs> Okay, 
Um, that's the last time I'll need to tune, I hope. Um, this next one's called Harry's Bones. Um, I, there should be a video that comes on in the back. Um, I went to art school and I had a project where we were encouraged to look at flo folklore. folklore. Um, and I got really into malicious fairies, as you do, and I wrote a song about it and I made a little animation. Um, so I hope you enjoy. song. Um, it's been so nice to be here. Um, thank you so much to Pat for inviting me and to everyone on sound and lighting and people who made the video happen. That was really cool. 
Um, so this last one's called Cola. Mind 
Let's again from Marty. Well, well, do you think we've chosen well? Yes. Some acts. And we've got another act just to come as well. So we're going to have another interval. We'll set up for our final act here on a celebration of Celtic Connections on campus. That music was carrying on. You thought I was going to carry on singing there, didn't you? I was going to give you a tune. Don't worry, no fear. I was just watching my step here because there's lots of fiddles on the floor here. I didn't want to kind of trip over one. Um, are you enjoying yourselves? Yay! I'm enjoying myself. It's been a great week. So this is uh, our day four of Celtic Connections on campus. Remember, this is a celebration um, of all the artists that we've seen uh, during lunchtime gigs that we do. And if you really enjoyed what you've seen tonight. We've got a great set of acts again tomorrow at 12.30 back in here. So uh, just phone in sick if you're working. Or something. Nobody. <laughs> tell, them, tell them I gave you permission to come back and see some fantastic music because you've enjoyed yourself. Or just stay the night here. We could all just bunk down here, just stay the night. Fantastic for tomorrow. Anyway, one final act for you, or one fantastic third act for you. Put your hands together for Madurum. And I'm lying bound in these nights 
I can still feel the waves go on hundreds of miles from the sea. I can still hear you call your thousands of miles from the And gentle waters kept her safe She woke upon clear sands The air was still, the sky was grey The only signs left of her ship Were some sail scraps in the bay And on that open empty beach Freedom never seemed so far away And though the sun went down with my ship And I'm land-bound in these nights I can still feel the waves Though I'm hundreds of miles from the sea I can still hear you call Though you're thousands of miles from me Thousands of miles from the sea. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening everyone, uh, we're Madaram. Um, that was a song I wrote a couple of years ago called Hundreds of Miles. Um, it's a song about someone who goes to sea. Uh, they're both, they come across stormy weather, and, um, but the ocean protects them, it's kind to them, and she sort of, even though she's apart from the sea and she can't sail anymore, um, she still feels the connection to it, and she can still kind of uh, yeah, have that connection. <laughs> uh, we're gonna carry on now with the tune set. Um, this one's called Puddle Ducks, and it's made up of a couple of tunes. The first one is The Crystal Year by Brian Finnegan of Fluke fame. And uh, the second one is called The Teether by Jim Irving. Uh, so yeah.
Gaelic song called Vermi Screed the Hopper Vore. Um, and it's kind of we're doing it in the style of a of a walking song. It's quite a quite a light happy one, talking about saying, I'm gonna take a trip to Tobermory, I'm gonna go and see my friends and have some wine, some good chats around the fireplace. So
Thank you very much. So we're going to carry on with another wee tune set. So this is two tunes, um, both written by myself. Uh, the first one is called Woodlands Road and the second one is called The Omni Changa. Um, as far as I'm aware, that's not a real word, but um, I asked my mum to name it and that's what she blurted out. So here we are. So this is The Omni Changa set. <laughs>
need to talk again. <laughs> I forgot. We've we've not written out our set list, so we're a wee bit, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, this um this next tune set is called uh the, we call it the Glasgow set. It's made up of two tunes. The first one we don't actually know the name of, but it's from the Sky Collection. And the second one is by Brian Cromarty from Saltfish 40, and it's called The Glasgow Jig. So here we go.
Thank you very much. So we have now reached our last song of the night. Um, yes, I know. <laughs> um, if any of you have seen us before, um, you'll probably know this one. Um, so this is our version of Pound Week Rise. Um, it was a song written by Ed Pickford back in the 60s about the miners' strikes that were going on um, and about how the miners wanted just that, a little bit more money for doing such a dangerous job and they were told no by the government, which is becoming more and more, you know, just, oh, how history likes to repeat itself. Um, so, yeah, there'll probably be a new version of this coming out. <laughs> a new version of the song coming out every year until, you know. But anyway, so this is Pound Week Rise. <laughs> We just also just quickly say a massive thanks to everyone at Celtic on campus for having us. Uh, to Patrick for comparing and for everyone on lights and sounds, the students doing such an amazing job on the lights and sounds as well. And to all of you for being a wonderful audience. And yeah, thank you. Just a round of applause for everyone, really. <laughs> Anything can happen. Jazz, <laughs> jazz. It is jazz. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> It's then you go down below, Jack. You'll never see the skies when you're working a dungeon for your pound a week rise. In 1960, a few years ago, the mine workers' leaders to Lord Robbins did go, saying we work very hard every day we risk our lives. So we ask you here and now for a pound a week rise. And it's then you go down below, Jack. You'll never see the skies when you're working a dungeon for your pound a week rise. Well, up spoke Lord Robbins, and he made this decree. He said, when the open rises with you, I will agree to raise up all your wages and give to you fair pay. For I was once a miner, and I worked hard in my day. And it's then you go down below, Jack. You'll never see the skies when you're working a dungeon for your pound.
Let's see it again for Madurong. Fan, fantastic. So thanks very much for coming along to a celebration of Celtic Connection Campus. Last few thank yous. want to thank everybody at GCU, especially in the Student Association. They're very, very helpful to us. Give us a, a big round of applause to Greg, who's done so well on the sound with our students this week. <laughs> Including a dodgy channel on the mixing desk earlier on, if you heard that. You had to do the wee change there. And finally, this has all been set up for the students. The students do so much in this, so show your appreciation to the students for doing the sound, the lighting, and the streaming, and all that. And just to remind you of the acts we've had tonight, so there was Brianna and Sophie. Show your appreciation for Brianna and Sophie. And then with the, with the wonderful Mary. And then we finished up there with the excellent Madram. This has been a, a celebration of Celtic Connections on Campus 2023. Safe home now and we'll see you next year. <laughs>